And this is the story of the, uh, the uh, historical figure in many of our cultures and civilization called uh, Juha, Hoja, any other names you guys know about him? Juha, comical figure, but historical real figure. And so Juha, one time he was, uh, he was, he was walking with his son and they, they had a donkey and they were walking and they had the donkey. And so uh, Juha, the father, was sitting on the donkey and his son was walking and they passed by some people and the people looked at Juha and he said, what a heartless father. He's making his child walk. So Juha said, oh man, yeah, my God. So then he, he got off the donkey and he put his son to sit. And so they continued walking and then they passed some other people. And the people said, look at that son with no adab. <laughs> He's sitting on the donkey and he's making his father walk. What kind of adab is that? No manners. Look at the kids, these children these days. So Juha said, okay. We're both sit on the donkey. So the father sits on the donkey, the son sits on the donkey and they continue walking. And then they pass by another group of people and the group of people they look at Juha and his son, and they say, look at that heartless family putting all that weight on that poor donkey. What bad manners. So Juha says, okay, let's get off the donkey so we don't put too much weight on the donkey. So Juha and the son start walking next to the donkey. And then they walk by another group of people, and the people say, look at those imbeciles. They have a donkey, and neither, no one's riding it. So then Juha takes the donkey and carries the donkey above his head and starts walking. And the moral of the story is, if we're chasing the approval and the pleasure of people, we're making ourselves lower than donkeys. And so, there is, there is, رِضَ اللَّهَ غَايَةٌ لَا تُدْرَكْ وَرِضَ النَّاسِ غَايَةٌ رِضَ اللَّهَ غَايَةٌ لَا تُتْرَكْ وَرِضَ النَّاسِ غَايَةٌ لَا تُدْرَكْ فَاتْرُكْ مَا لَا يُدْرَكْ وَادْرَكْ مَا لَا يُتْرَكْ Pleasing people is a goal you will never achieve. And pleasing Allah is a goal you should never leave. So achieve what you should never leave, and leave what you'll never achieve. They say, there's a, a quote that says, you know, in my 20s, I used to care about what people thought about me. You know, I have to dress like them. What are they going to think about my, my hijab? What are they going to think about my clothes? What are they going to think about my hair? What are they going to think about my car? What are they going to think about my house? What are they going to think about my, about my wife, about my husband? What are they going to think about my joke? What are they going to think about my job, my career, my promotion? What are they going to think? And then in my 30s, you know, I got courageous. And so I said, you know what? I don't care what people think about me. I don't care anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be me. I'm going to live my own life. I'm going to be authentic. <laughs> Which is another discussion for another day. So they start becoming free of people's opinions and approvals. And then, in their 40s, they realize no one was actually ever thinking about them. <laughs> 
But a Muslim in their 50s realizes Allah was thinking about them and looking at them the whole time. Like, ah, okay, it's about Allah, right? And so in conclusion, I leave you with this beautiful aphorism from Ibn Ata'illah, beautiful hikmah. And this is, I leave you with this gift to take this away, inshallah, from this night. Inshallah, we also take away paradise, say ameen. And exemption from hellfire, say ameen. Because that's what it's all about. Everything else is a distraction. We're only here for a few days. And so, غيب نظر الخلق إليك بنظر الله إليك وغب عن شهود إقبالهم عليك بشهود إقباله عليك. Ibn Ata'illah says, Vanish from your eyes the sight of people on you in exchange for the sight of God on you. Did you get that? Vanish from your eyes, from your perspective, people's eyes on you in exchange for God's eye on you. When we make that shift, that paradigm shift, it's so comforting. It's so relaxing. It's so liberating. It's so empowering. It's so empowering. And the second part of the aphorism, وَغِبْ عَنْ شُهُودِ إِقْبَالِهِمْ عَلَيْكَ بِشُهُودِ إِقْبَالِهِ عَلَيْكَ And ignore people approaching you and witness God approaching you. And ignore people approaching you and witness God approaching you. Allah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Amazing. Amazing. And so I leave you with that, inshallah, so we can worship Allah as if we see Him, and if we don't see Him, we know that He sees us. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So we don't end up carrying the donkey, inshallah. Say ameen.